saying goodbye to a friend. Matthew Perry's loved ones gather at a private ceremony to celebrate the actor's life. Six days after the tragic discovery of his passing in the hot tub at his Los Angeles residence, a private funeral was held to pay their respects. At the age of 54, the beloved actor was laid to rest in a solemn hour-long service at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Los Angeles. Among those in attendance were Matthew's grieving mother, Suzanne Morrison, aged 84, his stepfather and noted journalist Keith Morrison, aged 76, as well as his father, John Perry, aged 82. At this private event, friends and co-stars such as Jennifer Aniston, 54, Lisa Kudrow, 60, Courtney Cox, 59, and David Schwimmer, 57, arrived as a quartet, all dressed in somber black suits. They prepared to bid their final farewells to Perry, a touching moment that left no dry eye in the room. The cemetery held particular significance as it is situated opposite Warner Brothers Studios, where the iconic TV series Friends was filmed over 10 seasons. It also serves as the final resting place for numerous Hollywood stars, including the likes of Carrie Fisher, Betty Davis, Stan Laurel, Buster Keaton, INXS frontman Michael Hutchins, and many more. The service concluded with a heartfelt rendition of Peter Gabriel's song, Don't Give Up, which includes poignant lyrics like No Fight Left, or so it seems, I am a man whose dreams have all deserted. The event was marked by tears and laughter, with only close friends and family addressing the attendees. Perry was laid to rest in a dark wooden coffin during a family-only ceremony. Following the service, black-clad mourners gathered outside the church, many embracing and comforting one another, some shielding their eyes from the California sun behind dark sunglasses. The article does not explain whether Perry had specifically chosen the church for his final farewell or if his family selected it. It also remains to be seen whether a more public celebration of his life will be organized at a later date. In a joint statement issued on Monday, Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Matt LeBlanc, David Schwimmer, and Lisa Kudrow expressed their profound shock and sadness over Perry's loss. They emphasized the deep bond between the Friends cast, referring to themselves as more than just co-stars, they considered each other a family. The exact cause of Perry's death is still pending confirmation, though initial toxicology reports ruled out the presence of meth or fentanyl in his system. Perry had openly struggled with substance abuse throughout his life, but the preliminary findings did not indicate the presence of these common narcotics. Further tests are underway to determine if any prescription medication played a role. In his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers, and The Big Terrible Thing, Perry detailed his battle with addiction, especially after a 2018 health crisis. He revealed his struggle with opioids and the street drugs he turned to in pursuit of relief. Despite the initial investigation's findings, the Los Angeles County Coroner has deferred announcing a cause of death, a process that may take several weeks. Close friends and those who knew Perry maintained that he was clean and sober at the time of his passing. Perry's memoir reached the number one spot on Amazon, surpassing Britney Spears' memoir in sales, providing insights into the actor's lesser-known battle with addiction while he was part of the iconic Friends cast in the 1990s. Perry's addiction struggles were concealed from many during the height of Friends fame, and the pressure to perform on the show only exacerbated his inner turmoil. He felt immense pressure for the live audience to laugh and face convulsions when the audience did not respond as expected. His addiction took a toll on him, leading to his co-star Jennifer Aniston confronting him about his drinking during filming. In the years leading up to his untimely passing, Perry was committed to sobriety, as testified by friends and insiders. He was actively involved in the recovery community, attending and speaking at meetings and mentoring newcomers. He was even considering sharing his story through public speaking events to help the younger generation battling addiction, aiming to be a source of inspiration and hope. Ina Crosby, a model and entertainment reporter, met Perry shortly before his passing and described him as highly committed to sobriety. During their lunch, he spoke of plans for an autobiographical movie about his life, with actor Zac Efron in the lead role and Perry making a cameo appearance as a therapist. He was also passionate about promoting fitness and pickleball among his friends. 
Crosby revealed that Perry was cautious about ordering a Diet Coke during lunch due to concerns about caffeine's addictive potential. Perry's concern for his health was evident in his every action. He had plans to establish a foundation to aid those struggling with substance abuse and to share his story through film. In his memory, Perry's contemporaries and the industry as a whole are urged to bring his vision to life and continue his mission of offering hope and support to those battling addiction.